Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of AP Bass and we have just made it to the lake and we're going to do some fishing again today. Yesterday was kind of a failed scent challenge. The day before that was kind of a rougher day on, on a body of water we didn't know about. I've never been to this lake but Rob kind of told us about this lake and we're going to do some fishing here today. Hopefully we do good. I'm going to start off by throwing a big worm. Rob told me to go throw a crankbait so I'm just not going to listen to him at all and just go throw a big worm. Then once I get frustrated, then I'm going to take the crankbait out. But I've got some confidence in a big old worm like I was throwing yesterday. And there's some lay down, some, some standing timber like what Texas is known for. And I'm just going to go throw this little, this little purple worm in the, in the trees. Well, folks. That started off quick. First one of the day, little guy. That's a monster, folks. I'm using a three-out worm hook on that uh, on that rig, and I'm throwing it with a three-ounce tungsten weight. I'm not pegging that. Uh, if I'm not flipping, I never peg my weights, and I'm just throwing it on 20-pound test just because there's a lot, a lot of trees and big bass here in Texas. Fast gear ratio reel. I'm throwing a 7.6 rod right now. I've beefed up my tackle so I don't lose any big monsters. Cause I'm planning on catching a big one today. We are not giving up until we catch a big one. I'm just getting really enthusiastic today. Because today. people have been saying I have not been excited enough. So today... Oh god, dude. That's a toast. No, it's not. Not a chance. A drink. Oh, oh, it might be. There's bubbles. Go over there, dude. It's not a fish. No, it is. Not a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. It might be a toad. It might be a toad. Guys. I literally thought that was a 10 pounder. He must have got caught up in some brush or something. Fish number two right there. Off to a quick start right now. I think you want to try the purple worm. I have a purple worm. You're using too big of a worm. Uh, I don't know about that. Size matters. <laughs> Size matters. I honestly thought I had a 10 pounder on. I was like, oh my gosh, this fish will not move. Yeah, it must have, told me to go over there. It must, it must have got caught up in the brush. Not a bad one. We're off to a good start here. Good number start. They want the worm. We just need a, we need a, we need a, we need to find the big tens. We're after the 10 pounders. Sorry you're not feeling that. Good one. There's my bite. We're on the babies. Why, like, over half the fish I've caught in Texas so far <laughs> have been smaller than the bait that I've been using. <laughs> the whole 11 inches. Mister, she's a big. Who's the bag? I did some right there. Killing the size game today. Another donk. There's one. Swim bait. Crank bait. Well, folks, gone a while without a bite. Just switched up to a 5XD. I uh, just caught this little guy. Man, she slammed it. God, I thought that was a big one. Nice. Stole my fish. Best one so far. Stole my fish. We got a vulture. Well, I threw the crankbait for about five casts. Got hung up. He missed one on the popper, so I threw my worm there and caught that one. We're kind of stunk with little fish right now. We need we need some bigger ones. That would be good. Oh, oh he's gonna have it. He got it. <laughs> I saw that waste from a mile away. <sighs> We're killing the size game. I saw some fish moving over there, and Chris still doesn't have his topwater rigged up. Well, you made me put on another rock. Little finesse green pumpkin fluke. We are just, we are crushing the numbers out here, folks. Oh my god, that might have been a bigger one. Why is my drag so loose? Good thing I got the popper. Oh, 
Now the Dinka. That was on the fluke again. We've mastered the dinks, just not the biggins. I am not giving up though. Thing called no, I'll out. I guess we'll talk to you guys later. Yeah. You smoke it? Well, nobody's gonna believe me that I caught this fish on the A rig, but I did catch it on the A rig. Uh, it's probably the best fish so far, which is kind of sad because it's about two pounds. But, um, what happened was a storm. <laughs> a fish jumped after I threw it in. A storm came through. We had to run back to the car, and then when I was in the car, I just had a brilliant idea of tying up the A rig because we have had not. We haven't had a lot of success catching big fish. I've caught a lot of little ones, just no big ones. So I've got a rig on. And I'm going to keep chucking it. I got the rig on. <laughs> what are the odds they get it stuck in this cast? Got one? No, you don't. It's that big. Oh, I have two! I have two! Oh, he has two! I have two! I have three! You have two. I have two! I have three! Yes! I did it! I caught two on it! <laughs> what the heck? On video! I caught two on the rig! That's crazy! I had three, I swear to God, dude. I saw the other one come off. I just did something that I've always wanted to do, which was catch two fish on a rig. One? God, that one choked it. Too. And I swear, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if it was for sure, but I thought I saw another one come off. Dude, maybe this is the trick. Maybe this is the 10 pounder bait. Well, then I'm screwed. I have another one in the truck. Million views! One million views! Oh, look at that drop. This is the killer bait, dude. I'm about to slay. They're all big. Another one on the rig. What? How this afternoon bite. It's all about the rig, bro. I'm a rig master. No, how deep is that cut? How deep is it going? About 15? No, it's... Yeah, it is. The deepest part is the dead heron. Water is super clear. Come on. Come on, come on. Hold this tight. Hold. And just like that. No! <laughs> His rig's gone. No, I'm defeated. No, Hell I'm man. defeated. This lake hates me. Well, I had fun. I caught four fish on the rig within 10 minutes and lost it. I lost my rig. It's about to get dark out. Just look at the boat. <laughs> the boat is a mess. The rods are everywhere. But I am going to throw this plopper for the rest of the night. I am not putting it down. I'm gonna catch a 10 pounder. I always end the day with me throwing the plopper and then never catching another fish, but. Today is different. Today is a day with a lot of energy. They were like small lodges though. Is it recording? Well, you missed it. I was having Chris rechange the battery and of course this one hit it when I was doing. Is it pointed at me or is it pointed at my feet? Well, another bass there on the, well, not another bass, the first bass on the plopper. I'm just going to throw this until it gets dark out. Oh my god. Oh, that was the that, HUD. That was a big one. Dude, that was the HUD. That was the HUD? That was the Huddleston. Pretty fun day out here, not going to lie. I did catch a lot of fish, just no big ones. Uh, I'm not that discouraged. I'm still here for another couple days. So, the quest for a big fish, I really want to get a 10-pounder here. That's kind of why I came here. It was, 
it was to make some cool videos, but also I want to do something. I want to break my personal best the next over the next couple of days. Today was not the day. I did though catch a fish, two fish on one one bait, two fish on the Alabama rig, which is pretty cool. I think I had a third one on that came off, not 100% positive, but had fun. Chris actually flies out in the morning uh, or tomorrow afternoon. What am I saying? Tomorrow afternoon. I'm gonna get the boat out of here and end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching AP Bassin. I appreciate it so much. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys again. Thank <laughs> you.